see how real that is? Oh, man. I would be running, but I got this damn bag. I tried that shit. It feels goofy. It be, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just walk. I'm going to just walk and talk. What we got going on for Thugger News today, man? How we getting better, Coke? Keep motion. And this the workout, man. You know what I'm saying? I walk home from the gym. I came to the gym in the Lambo and walked home. I'm getting my shit ceramic coated. So I had to leave it up there. But we good. Get that good work out of here like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay young on that bitch. Stay young on them. We already here now. We here now. You old news. See how easy that was? That's easier than a park right there. You got views. The boss life right here. Is Resuming workout. Pausing workout. Hey, good morning. How are you doing, my neighbor? Resuming workout. That was fine, neighbor. She crazy. Neighbor got more followers than me. Two meals, some followers. Pausing workout. Forty chance of rain. Oh, she was bad. I ain't gonna put on what nobody. You know, I don't give a damn. Some people do, so I ain't gonna play with her. Yeah.
Continuing workout. Pausing workout. Ah. Workout. You know what I'm saying? And that is. Resuming workout. Yeah. That is. Now we at home. What a journey. You know I'm about to roll up. Man. Hell yeah. You know I'm about to take these big ass dust ass shoes. Oh, look how big these shoes are. Pausing workout. Uh, let me turn this workout. Yeah, in that building, it's all bad. Yeah, look at these hoes, though. Y'all motherfucking ass. Look how dirty they is, though. And y'all niggas be caring. I don't give a fuck. I show y'all, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Oh, we. Oh, we. God damn, thugger news. Now, nah, kids, see y'all on that pretty shit. Y'all on that pretty fancy shit. I'm on that get the job done. Because you know what? I got a brand new pair at the house. But I don't want to wear my motherfucking brand new pair because I want to keep them clean. Damn, see? What you want me to do? Go straight to Memorial and just... I'm going to go straight to Memorial and just start... Uh, Dirty end up my brand new pair. Nah, kid, we dirty. We don't mind looking dirty. We ain't always about being the freshest motherfuckers on the block. We gonna stay dirty. We gonna got we got dirty clothes to go outside in, and then we got clean clothes when it's time to get clean. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you gotta be, man. You can't always be. You gotta be dirty. Get dirty sometime, man. Get dirty sometime. Go outside, take a walk. You see that? I just walk from the gym. You niggas will be too cool. Man, I'm an Uber. I say, you know what? I got to do three miles at the park. I might well just walk home. That's three miles. Y'all just heard it was 2.8. I ain't get the real burn like I really get because I ain't get the run because I had that bag. But you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Nigga don't care how you look. When you know you... When you know you... Uh, you could buy some motherfucker. Like the thing is, shoes is just so new drop on Hog Life at noon. Hoglifefamily.com. Make sure y'all go to hoglifefamily.com. Get them new tees, hats, etc. You know that shit finna sell out fast. So everybody be asking me. Go right now for noon if you want to get your Hog Life drip. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The thing is, when you start getting it, you're going to not want motherfuckers to be fucking with you like that. Like, motherfuckers who ain't got it want the attention of motherfuckers. When you got it, you don't want the attention from a lot of motherfuckers. You be like, you know what? You know what? Matter of fact, let me wash my motherfucking hands while I'm over here shaking niggas' hands walking down the street. I know I'm dirty, but I can't be that fucking dirty. What the fuck? Damn. All right. You 
just seen me on Main Street, huh? Exactly. Now we at the uh, Boss Light Penthouse. You know what I'm saying? H-Town shit. Can't wait for my ring so I can do this. They playing. I need my shit. <clears throat> oh, we. But yeah, man. Go outside, man. Go see something new. Stop doing the same routine every fucking day, you fucking robot. Snap out of that shit, you fucking robot. All you do is the same shit every motherfucking day. You gonna do this shit for your whole life, you fucking robot? You see how I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna just walk home, see what that main look like. Different vibe. It was a good vibe. Try something new. Right now, I stopped Chick-fil-A. I've been telling you motherfuckers. Damn, Sierra Leone, we worldwide for real. What the fuck? Peace. I'm trying to get out there, man. Give me the plug on them diamonds. If y'all could just give me two 15 carats for my earrings, I'd be, I'd be grateful. I'd be hella grateful. You know what I'm saying? This is not weed. This is a cigar. Oh, I'm supposed to be on the way. Gas guards with the slap. Ooh, I got a nigga rapping good. Young nigga. I got eight and a half for my ears right now. I want to double them whole. Give me 16 carrots in each ear. Nigga, illo. Look at my shit look like a pussy already from them heavy ass diamonds all these years. Earlo look like a pussy. That's how you know you got them big chunky motherfuckers. If you ain't got no pussy earlo, then you ain't got them chunky motherfuckers. Your shit good. My shit got that puss. See that split? <coughs> You gotta have that pussy if you got that weight. Your shit heavy. You gonna have that pussy here low. Your shit light. It's gonna be a dot. Get your weight up, kid. <laughs> you wanna get you some pussy? You need to have that pussy here low. <laughs> I'll be just talking shit, man. What up with it, man? Miss Mary, I love you, Miss Mary. <coughs> I love you, Miss Mary. Yep. What else going on in the world, man? You film, you at Ray J last year? That's what's up. Baby snatch my Okay, I don't know what's Amsterdam, what it do? I done been to Amsterdam before. I've been to Amsterdam. Yeah, red light district and everything. I ain't smash nothing, you know. I'm like, I'm too cool to just pick a bitch out the window and go in the room with her after somebody else just walked out there. Ho. Like, I was just too cool for that, so I couldn't do the red light district. But I was out there smoking. Yeah, I wish we still had them. Um, I wish we still had the... Uh, pictures and shit from back then it should be somewhere but i don't know where but uh yeah double cup movie is coming soon a lot of shit coming soon i plan on dropping a project for my birthday midlife crisis i am nowhere near ready for that it's a it'll be a miracle if it happens but we're gonna try oh i seen they find jort harden a hundred thousand they find that boy a hundred thousand for saying something about somebody in the NBA. What? What y'all think about that, man? Am I right or am I wrong, man? Don't the NBA be treating the NBA players like hoes? It's just so disrespectful, man. How many times y'all gonna let them people treat y'all like hoes? Where's the player association at, man? Who the fuck is running the player association? Cause he ain't doing a good job letting them treat them dudes like hoes. Did job my rent like that. Now they doing uh Harden, 
hundred thousand for saying something. How the fuck you can't say nothing? Grown ass millionaire can't say nothing. The fuck? That shit crazy, man. Like, where's the player association at, man? The stand up. It's 2023. It's so much shit they be on our ass about. Man, fuck that, man. Like, that's crazy. It's time to start your own league when them hoes play with you like that, kid. It's too much disrespect going on, man. Too much disrespect. I can't talk down on the NBA player for, or any nigga playing in the league because anybody would play in the fucking league because you going to get that money. Like, But it's just so disrespectful how they be doing a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's time to start our own shit, you know, if they treat you like that. Everybody don't treat everybody like baseball players be getting that bad. Baseball players get what they deserve. They get paid for real. NBA players get a bag, too. They get paid like a motherfucker for real, too, but... It's just like, God damn, a baseball player can run into an umpire face and cuss them out and shit. NBA, them motherfuckers find you 100,000% anything they don't like. And they ain't got no, uh, it ain't like the feds either. It ain't like, okay, if you do this, you're going to do this. It's already understood. Like, this the guidelines. Okay, you do this, you're going to do that. They just be, hmm. What hard to say? What? Uh, it would usually be a 20000 but I just don't like how he was in China and said that shit. Like, he letting them people know that he can talk to us like that. 100000 on hard. Like, nigga think he Jesus Christ up there. Just, nigga think he God just coming up with whatever they want to come up with to find a nigga with, man. What the fuck? Shit, crazy disrespectful, man. Player Association, it's time to step the fuck up and stop the motherfuckers. <laughs> Tell them, hey, man, what's this money mine? You always can't take it back because I said some shit. I'm a grown-ass man with different ideas. What the fuck, uh... What the fuck um, Muhammad Ali would have did about this shit, I wonder. I wonder what Muhammad Ali would have had to say about this shit, his fresh mind (coughs) said. Do what you want to do after a workout. Right. Muhammad Ali would have been on their ass about this. Man. (coughs) Yeah, man. What else going on in the world, though? Oh, we. This thing is good. I like it. Gas guards. Big shout out. Slap wood. Shout out. It's Doug the News. The news you can use. They testing digital currency. Man, you know what? That's a little scary. I'm glad you said that. See, that's why I like. See, Thug the News, we don't come in here with no plan. We come in this hole and we just conversate. And then we just vibe about what somebody say. So, testing digital currency. Okay. That's a little scary, man. Because what if this shit just black out one day? Like, you know, but what's so crazy is we already caught up in the shit. Who the fuck carry cash? Dude, a homeless dude just asked me on the way over here. Hey, thug, you said last time you seen me, you was going to get me. I'm like, nigga, I'm in gym clothes, nigga. And who the fuck even carry cash in 2023? Like, it's so inconvenient. When you can pay for shit from your phone, I don't even carry a wallet anymore, Harley. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even carry nothing but my motherfucking phone now that you can just tap pay shit. So, it don't even, like, cash is, like, damn, they're gone anyway. But it's still scary that them people, we ain't even dealing with, you ain't really even got nothing that you really, like, you know, and that's why I be buying shit a lot of times and shit. I'd rather have something I can have versus them people just holding my money. You know, what if this shit just burn out? Nah. The whole world black out and they just say, man, we lost all the files. All that shit is digital. Motherfucker lose all the motherfucking files and then a motherfucker uh, be like, I don't remember what you had in the bank. You out of there like, we can't recall. Like, hell no, nah, I ain't playing no, 
That shit sounds janky than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like we filing in the iPhone trap because we, like you say, got all our phones on wallets and shit. We don't even use cash no more. Like, I I be on some hood shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, not hood shit, but like, yeah, hood shit. Like, back in the day, you couldn't catch me with a thousand dollars in my. Whoa, how did that happen? Back in the day, you couldn't catch me with a thousand dollars in my pocket, right? Well, every time I get a thousand dollars, I would put it up and I would just stack my cash like that. So now I be trying to stunt like I'm an old nigga, so I'm kind of like in the midlife crisis age. Well, I did what I did the right thing for so long, move like that, you know, in a disciplined manner, manner that sometimes I be getting money and I just naturally don't give a fuck and don't buy shit, put it up, just stack. That's how I'm able to buy shit. When y'all see me popping up with cars and shit, it's because I didn't spend a lot of money. You know, on random bullshit. I was always stacking. And I like to buy shit that I can really see. So, you know, after I stack up and I buy some something I can really see, I feel better about that, you know, than just blowing it on random dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's just how I am, man. You know, I forgot I was saying something. I forgot what I was finna talk about. Oh, yeah, so I was on my, you know what? I've been doing, I don't know how many shows, probably five shows this month. I did good, like, you know what I'm saying? Got my money, everything came in good. Every bit, I ain't, my house paid off, you know, I don't got a lot of bills. So it's like, okay, fuck it. Let's hit the gallo, let's go shopping. You know, I grab a thousand dollars, two thousand. I don't want nothing in that hoe, bro. I don't want nothing in that motherfucker, man. It's hell to spend a thousand dollars now for me, especially cash. Like you know what I'm saying. The only thing I spend cash on is valet. Nigga don't even spend cash no more. Everything just valet. That's the only time you spend money on you know some real cash. So it's like it ain't even nothing to buy. It's just like shit. You can't even spend that shit. I can't even think of nothing I want. I went Louis the other day on some teenage shit. Like, man, fuck it, man. Let me give me some Louis. Because let me tell you where I'm at in life. Let me tell you where I'm at. Let me tell you what's going on. Okay. So I'm I'm trying to, like, stay down. You know, Balenciaga on bullshit. Uh, you know, so I like, you know, fuck it. I ain't fucking with Balenciaga no more. Now, let me tell you, Balenciaga, I was fucking with them because I'm an old nigga. I ain't really old. I just keep saying that because I like to say that. But I'm a nigga who like comfortable. I'm a, I like comfortable drip. Those sock Balenciagas, you could get in any club with them hoes. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no issue. Them hoes up to date. I, so I loved them. I was fucking with them. All that other designer shit, man, that shit hurt my feet. It's too slim. It ain't made for big niggas. Them European motherfuckers is little. They not made for, it's, they shit not made for big American people over here. You know what I'm saying? So... I stopped wearing that shit. The only thing I really, I really wear was the Balenciaga socks, and they done did this bullshit. I'm such a Kanye fan. I'm going against everybody who hating on them, and I'm feeling fucked up about it. So, motherfucking, uh, I say, you know what? Skateboard P finna do Louie. I gotta represent for the Star Trek. Like, what the fuck? Like, I got to. This nigga blessed me in so many ways with inspiration, like opportunity, everything. Like, I gotta support Skateboard Pete. Cause, you know, even though I I, I don't, I ain't, I'm against the uh, uh, luxury brands that black people spend so much with luxury brands and they don't give a fuck about us. Like, I'm really against that. I really want us to own. Cause if you think about it, Louis Vuitton selling us some fat for him right now. Louis Vuitton selling us some rock wear. Louis Vuitton is selling that Sean John right now. But they not black. They not black. They don't even they wouldn't even invite us to their party if we uh asked to show up. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, how they selling us hip hop? And how they go get the coolest coolest motherfuckers of hip hop to sell it to us. Like they and they fighting with motherfucking um Jeff Bezos of who the richest motherfucker in the world, man. I just see all this. I see all this money from black people uh, culture. They making all these billions off black people culture, 
but I just walk uh, uh, by so many homeless people downtown. You know, they it be one motherfucker taking all that opportunity from all them black people who could have worked for this black person who owned this or that. So it's like, that's as an old person, that's how I look at shit. And it make me say, damn. You know what I'm saying? They getting away with all this money of ours, and we out here looking like the bums of the world, when really, if we just owned our own shit, we wouldn't have to ask nobody for nothing. If we wasn't getting robbed from Adidas, from Kanye having 15% of his, you know, Yeezys that's selling out every month, motherfucker, we were getting robbed from motherfucking record labels, taking more than 90% of the money from uh, rappers and shit, every uh, album and shit, owning their album, they not even owning their shit. If we was getting all these this money on uh, from like from the NFL that we dominate so much, so many black people in the NFL, if that was our own shit, and we was getting those billions that those one owner motherfuckers getting, and just keep getting more and more and more, the Nike the Nike money that Jordan motherfucking made them. If we was getting the most, not the least, we wouldn't need no help from nobody. We would be probably the richest motherfuckers out here, bro. We wouldn't even... White, we'll be looking down at white folks like, what y'all broke ass looking at? You feel me? You will be richer than everybody if we only own our culture, the shit that we created, the shit that we make cool. Just think about how how rich we would be if we had our... If we owned our own shit. Not none of they shit. Our own shit. The shit that we the majority of. If we just only own the shit that we are the majority of, we would be the richest motherfuckers in America right now. Straight up like that. Straight up like that. You know what I'm saying? If we own the corner stores in our neighborhoods, the nail shops in our neighborhoods, the stores, that, the beauty supplies that sell all the products in our neighborhoods for our hair. Why is everybody getting all this money from us? Like, and we just letting it go down. Like, every single way you look, we getting robbed. He's like, stop crying. I'm in my penthouse, bro. I own all my shit. I don't work for nobody. I get the most. I already did it. I'm not crying. I got 18 cars downstairs. I own them too. White people can't tell me shit, but high neighbor, like they can't look down on me because I'm living that, what I'm telling you. So I'm not crying. I'm just trying to wake the rest of you motherfuckers up. <clears> Hog <throat> Life Family, Black On, new drop available now at noon. Turn up, sell out. Let's get it. <clears throat> Let's get it. Yeah, but so. What else we talk about? <coughs> but you know what? I ain't finna keep uh, begging motherfuckers to come with me. <coughs> no, nah, I'm good. I ain't gonna... Um, yeah, I got beer products. We're working on that right now. It's coming soon. So, yeah, I ain't finna um, try to drag motherfuckers to the top. No pun intended. I'm gonna tell you, y'all in my coat, if y'all fuck with me, I'm gonna get y'all the game. I'm gonna tell y'all how I think. I'm gonna tell y'all how you need to think. And this ain't just black people. This goes for everybody, because everybody do it in every race. It's some sort of this same shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's just about doing this for everybody. Whoever you is, you should do it. If you white, you should do it. If you Asian, you should do it. If you uh, Hispanic, you should do it. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Everybody should do it. Everybody should own their culture. White people shouldn't own Bad Bunny. Hispanic people should own Bad Bunny. Black people shouldn't own motherfucking, who is the country? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift should be white people shit. You feel me? Motherfucking, uh... No other race should own motherfucking Drake. He should be our shit. You feel me? Like, straight like that. But we continue to get robbed of our culture. And we cool with it. You know what I'm saying? We cool with it. 
But like I say, I figured it out for myself and put myself in a position where I want to be in life. So I ain't mad at nobody. All I can do is try to tell you how I think and why I think like I think. Trill Burgers. Come on now. Trill Burgers. If that ain't motivation to tell a black man to open up his own food spot, I don't know what it is. Bro, I sold 58,000 burgers in a month. People want it. Not just black people. Everybody want a trill fucking burger. What the fuck? Like, nobody... White people want the experience of black food in a safe environment. White people want to try black people food in a safe environment. That's all you have to do is create a safe environment for white people, Asian people, whoever. They all want to, just like I want to go try a motherfucking Korean barbecue, they want to try some hood shit. Everybody like trying new shit. Like, what the fuck? It's like... You know what I'm saying? It's 2023. Nobody ain't no no. Oh, they can't. You know, like, everybody fuck with everybody now. You know what I'm saying? It's just about believing yourself, creating some quality, and being a consistent motherfucker. You can come up with whatever. You can so many ways to get paid, man. There's so many ways to get paid. But people just ain't thinking like bosses. They're like, man, you know what? Let me go do this. Let me go. Oh, they believe in They still let people talk about this shit. Oh, my God. This breeze is amazing. I don't even want to leave. Damn. This is my mentorship. It's the only way I do mentorship. Do not be in the club trying to talk to me about no business. Please. Please, people, do not be in the club trying to talk to me about no business. I go to the club to look at it, bitches. Straight up. Like, I don't want to talk about no business. I figured out my business. I'm. Let's talk about it right now. Nowhere else. This is the mentorship right here. Leave me alone in the club, please. Niggas be having a whole life story to tell me in the club. Bro, I'm trying to watch what the fuck going on. This is not off as I was. But yeah, I'm going to say what it is right here, bro. It ain't no... And people want so much advice from a person, but the only thing I can tell you is do what you do, my nigga. Like, advice is... Um, it's very personal. I'm trying to listen to the ski and they, man, hey, bro, you know I got this business I've been working on. Now, the craziest shit in the world happened the other day. I was in my, my uh, L dog. I ran out of gas trying to go to the car wash. So, after going through this, I'm a soldier, so I continued the mission. I continued on my mission. So, I went to the gas, I mean, to the car wash. After I got my gas, it's the hottest day ever. Matter of fact, it actually probably was the actual hottest day ever. So, um, I went to the uh, car wash, got my little picture, video, whatever we did. I left. This lady seen me. This lady was, I'm talking about at a light. She talking about, ah, oh, Slim, the top is down. Ain't no shade around. She said, ah, oh, Slim Thug. Uh, I need you to pull over. You need to pull over. I need to give you my business card. I say, no, nah, boo, it's a little too hot to be pulling over, boo. I got to go. You know what I'm saying? So I just pulled off kind of and just kept it moving. I bust the lift. She was in the right lane. This lady then bust the lift, ran this light, ran through stop signs, following me. So I'm like, what the fuck? So... I say, man, this crazy ass lady is not finna, um, she not finna, uh, leave me alone. I had to pull over when I found some shade. She jumped out the car. Hey, let me show you my business card. Let me show you. She gave me her business card and a lighter. She got a lighter with her, like, in a G-string. Tell me, this is my business card. I do trucking. And, um, this my lighter. Like, I did a photo shoot with my lighter. 
I'm like, man, what is going on right here, man? You pull me over in 108 degrees, and you talking about you got a trucking business. What does Slim Thug got to do with a trucking business? And why are you naked on this lighter? Like, what are we doing right now in 108 degrees, man? Please let me get up out of here, man, and go home, man. Let me just get out the sun for a second, man. This shit has been, it's been a long little episode right here, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me find, I think I still got the card. Because I've been telling everybody the story. I don't know if I got the lighter. This lady, boy. Y'all don't even realize how much y'all be doing the most. I don't think... <clears throat> Honestly, what is this, buddy? Pull me over on the side of the street. I'm like, what is this gonna do for me? What do I do in trucking? Yeah, I don't be knowing. How? How am I gonna be your blessing? I'm Slim Thug. I have nothing to do with trucking. Yeah, but anyway, man. What else going on in the world, man? With food, water, and shelter. No cap, like. I'm just saying, like, y'all will be telling me some shit that I can't do nothing about. I'll be like, why is y'all even wasting my time telling me this shit? I don't got nothing to do with that. Pass her info to someone I know and tell them what? I don't even know what to say. I just did. I shot it out. I don't even know. I didn't keep the lighter, no. I don't know where the lighter is. Buy me some trucks. I don't want no trucks. I just seen old boy crying on the side of the road. Oh, it's the worst. I'm good. I got peace. If I wasn't a rapper, what would I be doing in life? Huh. Um... Probably fucking with cars. Cause that's what I do now as a rapper. So. I'm at the crib. That music session, you was tuned in, man. We got a lot of music, man. Some people look at me like this, man. It's crazy. I don't know why. I mean, I you know, I'm so regular, so I don't know why. I just walked home from the gym. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I guess people think I'm a celebrity. I am Stone Age. I'm 1900s. Yeah. But my passion is cars. I fuck with cars. That he coming back right now. I don't want to leave this motherfucker, man. I just want to sit on the patio. And just I don't move like a celebrity. I just walked home from the gym, so I can't understand people. When, I can't understand people are shocked to see me when I go to the club every single night. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm everywhere all the fucking time. Like, how the fuck you ain't seen me yet in Houston? So I don't understand it when a motherfucker goes, oh, something. Like, where the fuck you been? You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody who lives in Houston should have seen me a hundred times. Like, <clears throat> and be used to seeing a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, because I get offended because I feel like y'all trying to say I ain't outside like that. What the fuck you mean you ain't seen me? I'm outside every motherfucking day. What the fuck you been? You know what I'm saying? Chill out, man. I'm a block your ass. You know, you think you funny. This is my page. I am ready for some ass, fab. Pull up. Nigga, I'm the only one get the joke on here. Nigga think he a comedian or something. Nigga, I'll block your ass, boy. Hey, I feel like you drizzles today, so it might be raining today, man. Yeah, I don't 
like that though, nigga be man, you know what I mean? I ain't seen him, I don't come here like that. Dude. What else going on in the world though, man? Warden, Texas. Uh, 200 motherfuckers out there and you don't know jokes, nigga. Your whole motherfucking uh, relation in Warden, Texas is 200 people. Your graduating class, you ain't even a graduating nigga. <laughs> This nigga here live on a farm in Warden, Texas, man. He got 200 people in the whole fucking town. He don't here talking about how I look. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you, kid. We did shit in Warden, Texas back in the day. Still do them all. We'll pull up Warden. You know what I'm saying? Watch us to be out there all the time. <clears throat> Watch used to always be in that Warden, Texas when we were young. Hey, but I'm trying to find a hell of a smoothie, man. Like, who the fuck got a good ass smoothie? I'm trying to find one of them hoes right now. <clears throat> R.I.P. Big Snap. Yeah. Who got a good ass smoothie, man? Harn Clark is this bitch. Man, this shit feel good, man. This is the, mo this is the mood right here. This shit work. Watts, yeah, Watts tapped in. My boy Watts used to be in that war in Texas all the time. We used to be out there when we was teenagers. Yeah, I've been the Smoothie King, motherfuckers. Who y'all talking to? Give, you gotta give me some more, more decorated shit than Smoothie King. Come on, man. Motherfuckers say, have I been the Smoothie King? Y'all think a nigga sit in the house out? I'm not no motherfucking Beyonce. I come outside, man. That's nectar by fish. I used to go there every fucking day. Damn, the smoothie got you sick. I'm going to tell y'all what happened, right? So I was at the motherfucking um, Lambo dealership. I went and got my car. It sounded like some bougie ass shit. Dude had a, um, a smoothie truck outside. So I've been on some exploring shit. I don't lie. Everything I've been doing been on some new shit, man. Like, and it's been good. And I challenge all you motherfuckers who are on my coat to do the same, man. Like, we so addicted to Chick-fil-A every day, we just skip every other option out there. Go somewhere else, try something new, just ask them people, hey, man, what's the most popular thing on the menu? And get that. Explore, man. This shit has been amazing for me, man. I'm telling you, man. This has been amazing for me. I've been on some explore shit everywhere I go. No matter what the restaurant is, I don't know what it is going to be. You know, I try to do the Yelp. You can do your Yelp research and say, who got the best burgers in the city? You know what I'm saying? Who got the best chicken sandwich in the city? Who got the, you know what I'm saying? Like, just go. Pull up. Ask the motherfucker what's the best thing on the menu. Try that. Yeah, everything, man. I've been doing that shit. I've been finding so many new spots to eat at now with new favorite items on the menu. So I ain't got to just go to Chick-fil-A every day. I can have so many options to pull up to. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I'm on. I was going to say something else before this. Oh, yeah, so anyway, yeah. I was at the Lambo ship, and I told the dude... That Look, hey, man, just give me the most popular motherfucker. He said, man, I like to do this one and then put this in it. Like, he did a little special thing. Man, that shit was the best motherfucking smoothie in the world, bro. I had to call the motherfucking Lambo dealership today and ask him how what was outside. I'm trying to get the ingredients. That shit was fire. So, he sent me the menu. I'm going to try to put that bitch together myself because homeboy only there on Thursday. But yeah, keep trying to do it, man. He's Dacury on the stick. Yeah, 3D's a mother, but they hella good. Yeah. What questions do y'all have? Dutch bros, where they at? Are they in the city or what? I ain't going to the fucking uh, Cypress to get 
the smoothie. A smoothie machine and make my own. That might be dope. That sounds like some new shit. Nice squeeze, what I said. Man, I've been to Canada, Canada several times. In Cali, what the fuck we did it in Cali, man? Spring Dutch Bros. So the recommendations. Camp. Shit, chilling, man. Yeah, I'm talking about some shit out of town. Y'all ain't giving a nigga no real information. All right, y'all ain't gonna shit. Y'all ain't shit. Yeah, worst purchase I ever made. Shit, what is the worst purchase I ever made? I don't have no clue. Yeah, I've been to Africa. Come on, man. Yeah, I've been to Columbus, Ohio. Which guy? Yeah, my boy got it. Yeah, he got it all the time. Talked to him not too long ago. Yeah, I fuck with the nectar. <coughs> God damn. I eat whatever food, man. I just go there and I say, man, what's the best thing on the menu? And I try this shit. I don't have favorites or nothing. Well, I ain't gonna lie right now, the Lamborghini my favorite, so yeah, okay. You got me. I'm great. Get my own juicer. I ain't been to China yet. I'm going probably this year to the world on end. You know, I got all kind of shit going on everywhere. Have you broken any bones playing ball? Hell no. Nah. But I fucked my ACL up on MCL. When I'm smoking on gas guards, of course. No favorite food. I like breakfast the most, but French toast is probably one of my favorites. Bahama book. It feel good right here. I don't want to leave. I'm supposed to be doing some other shit. It feels so good right here. I don't want to move. I don't have a garden. Ah, I know what I needed to do. Yeah, I got shit to do. Y'all are holding me up. What the fuck? This TV show shit. Oh, we. I don't have no clue. Nah, I don't have no street team. It's just me. When am I gonna start a label? I start a label with R and B singles and shit before I fuck with you young rappers with shot. On some food shit. My whole career I made it being cool with everybody. I sign one of you young niggas and get shot fucking sitting by y'all at the club. Y'all niggas that said, fuck somebody I don't even know. And I ain't got shit to do with that shit. No. That way I ain't got no artists. I'm gonna stay, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna focus on myself. <laughs> that you niggas be getting into all kind of shit. Like, nigga, I am not trying to get to no jams because of my artists. <laughs> nigga, I have a peaceful life. <laughs> Sign the nigga, nigga, be. Man, fuck. Right. That rap shit is like, y'all don't get it. That's so easy to get caught in some bullshit. Sign a nigga and he say, man, fuck that whole ass nigga because he fucked my bitch. Hold up, bro. We ain't doing that over here. I'm going to shoot that whole ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck that shit. I, one thing I've learned, this breeze is amazing, kid. What I've told you, man, what y'all have to realize, man, money is not the most important thing. It's, it's important, but it's not the most important. Freedom. Freedom and peace of mind is over money. That is the things that is over money. Freedom and having
mind. A peace of mind is over money. So, understand that, kid. Early. Save yourself the headache. I could be doing all kinds of shit. I could be invested in so many different businesses and shit. Businesses are headaches. Businesses are headaches. Businesses require a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of headaches, a lot of trust, a lot of people fucking over you, a lot of, you know, heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Like, so having a peace of mind, being able to depend on myself, live off myself, is like one of the greatest things to do. Man, y'all hear that phrase, man? You know what? I ain't going to roll up another one. Do I still perform? Yes, I you see what I'm saying? I do shows, so I have show money. I owned all my music from day one, so I have residuals. I motherfucking uh, promote shit, you know what I'm saying? Internet shit. So, you know. All of that shit is just peaceful. Doing shit I love to do. I get to do what I love to do. So it's like I don't I take it very it's very important for me to not um lose my peace trying to do some shit that's only gonna pay me another ten thousand dollars a year, twenty thousand dollars a year, hundred thousand dollars a year, you know what I'm saying? I take that into consideration. <clears throat> Being that I have high blood pressure. And, oh, shit, we got to pull up to the uh, Dr. J in the moment. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just do this, then I'll do that. All right. Oh, shit, man. Hold up, watch this. I'm going to show you motherfuckers how to live, man. Y'all ain't doing it right, kid. Y'all ain't doing it right, kid. Y'all not doing it right. Let me show you how to live your life. Let me show you how to live your life. Y'all not doing it right. Y'all not doing it right. Nope. Y'all not doing it right. I'm going to show you how you should live your life. Yeah. Old people shit, man. For real, for real. Let's see. Ready for this shit? Y'all ready to see how to do this shit? Sit right here. Yeah. Rub on them dogs. Rub on them dogs. 
Get that blood flowing. Yeah. Foot massage. While you chilling on the patio on top of the world, enjoying the breeze. This is what we do it for, man. This is what we do it for right here, man. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> I like it. <laughs> you a hater, niece. Yeah. I don't care about my feet being ugly. I'm happy with it. I would. My feet being ugly, as long as it ain't my face. I'll take that. I'll take any foot joke with grace. As long as it ain't my face. This is self care right here, y'all. Enjoying the pieces of the penthouse. What you say? I be kid. You stop blessing me, man. God damn, bro. You need a sugar, my sugar daddy or something. Stop it, kid. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? My pop keep buying me shit, man. Hey, bro. Stop that, kid. I'm the sugar daddy. I buy women shit. So when the dude buy me shit, I be like, hey, fuck is you doing bro I take offense to that hey man don't be buy me shit kid <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, how you gonna buy me shit yeah man take this money for this shit god damn this shit who does the company sponsor y'all Bet. Turn up, dude. Because I like this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Bet. I got you. Promote that shit, too. Hell yeah. That's what I want to hear. Being having these followers is a blessing, man. Like, I get a lot of cool shit by having followers and being able to help people promote their businesses. It's cool. What we talk about in the world, man? This self care Tuesday for me. I love it, man. Just kick back after I did my workout. Just think about that, man. I just got out at the gym, walked home to the gym in the Lambo and walked home. That's a lot of different sides of the world. You feel like a motherfucking Batman on the way to the gym. And you feel like you're down there homeless because you walking home from the gym through all the homeless shit. You gotta see the ups and downs of the world, man. You gotta get see both sides of it, man. It's a very complete life. Now it's that gas guard, kid. Yeah, that good ass shit. Next trip, next. Might be out there in Switzerland. Who knows? Yeah, I left the Lamborghini at the car wash. Left it doing a ceramic coat, you know that shit take all day, so I wouldn't put the sit up down. I don't got no favors, man. I only got uh vibes, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I come to Indiana to so wherever they book the show, we pull it up. I don't got favorites i don't do favorites i just do vibes everything is with me is just what i feel that day you know what i'm saying i don't be doing no favor take your peace every day in which one of the main living the best boss life facts that's the main thing your peace people will try to you gotta take with god you know what I'm saying? Like, when people be in your life, like, it's so much toxic shit. People be watching love and hip-hop so much, they think, like, fighting is what you're supposed to do. You got to start attacking them with God. You got to say, hey, man, he's kind of like, you know, is the devil in you? What's going on with you? Why are you so mad? Like, I want to just be happy and be positive, but it seems like you're just on a very negative mind frame. Like, 
should I pray for you? <laughs> Tell your girl that today, fella. She go crazy and start arguing for nothing. Say, listen, baby, I know life is hard out here. It's tough. It's hot outside. It seems like you got a little devil in you today. Should I pray for you? Like, you want me to pray with you right now? Let's try to get that out of you because I don't know what's going on. Mind them like, hey man, that's crazy. Be mad like that. I just want to be a positive person. Like when I die, when I decided to say I wanted to be with you, I just thought that we would both bring positive energy to the situation. So I want to know what's making you not feel like that today. <laughs> A lot of niggas don't know how to get out of no fights, man. I don't know how to weigh the energy out. Of I don't know how to get the heat out of you. Consistent motivation in my life. Listen, man, come on, man. Get a billion dollars, man. And show me. Hey, man. Shout out. I need somebody on the coat, coat to get a billion dollars. I want clout. I want clout. I need you to get a billion dollars and then just, man, I ain't gonna lie. That boy Slim News Coat hired me to get this billion dollars, man. That's all I want. And I'm saying, wow, we big. We did it. Nothing me, I don't get mad. I don't move with emotions, man. I move with uh, gratitude and respect. I'm thankful for where I'm at in life, and I respect everybody, whoever, wherever they at in life. I treat them all the same with respect. No matter if you broke, no matter if you rich, I'm not gonna shit on nobody. I'm gonna treat everybody with the same respect. No matter what you is, whatever the fuck, everybody get the same respect. For Get mad, like you know what I'm saying. I talk shit now. You know I can raise my voice, and talk shit, but be actually being mad, like I wanna, you know. What I'm saying? Maybe it's because I'm always high. Maybe it's because I'm always high. You know, like, <laughs> I've been chilling on them pills. Man. I've been chilling on them gas station pills. I ain't been fucking with. I think when Kevin Samuel went down, I was like, nah, I'm gonna out of the gas station bill. Can't be playing too many games on that. <laughs> Bitch got a time for me now. I'll be like, hey, the hell flat line is your fault. You ain't you ain't giving me a sicko head, bitch. What you doing? <laughs> you gotta me for me now. <laughs> I think what I was on back then was too strong for the honey shit to even kick in. I tried that honey shit, that shit ain't do nothing. Now, you know what? Let me think I say this shit. Like, it's like, you feel that shit burning in your stomach a couple of days later or some shit. It make your shit feel like you got acid reflex at the top of your chest. And I'm whole, I don't like that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it started burning and shit. A couple days later, I'm like, man, look, bro, I ain't signed up for this. I ain't even on that right now. Yeah, that honey had a bad reaction to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Give you that ass reflex. You be like, God damn. I ain't doing all that drinking salad. Them fucking pills. I mean, that honey shit. Do them all. Some of them, um, them gas station pills do you like that too, man. The best one to do, the best one to 
do is uh, a Viagra. I ain't going to the whole wild fast or Seattle. A Viagra or Seattle I ain't going to give you too much bad shit. You know what I'm saying? Kickback off of You know what, man? I'm finna start doing my own reviews on shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm finna do thugger reviews, man. On everything. You know what? I'm gonna say thugger favorites. That's what we gonna do. Since everybody always wanna know what's my favorite, I'm gonna start doing thugger favorites. I don't got no TikTok. Well, I'm on TikTok, but I ain't on there. I'm, yeah, they give you a headache, right, Mr. D yeah, dude? And that's what I don't like. You know what I'm saying? But that Cialis and that, that Viagra, them hoes ain't gonna give you too much, you know what I'm saying, kickback, so. Them the two that I would recommend. Thug of favorites. I'ma take this shit over to uh to TikTok next. I ain't and start doing my reviews on everything. I'ma go to all these different restaurants and, and show motherfuckers what I order and what my favorites is at every restaurant. And wherever I go. So, yeah. We're going to go to TikTok with that shit. Yeah. This foot rub, 15 minutes, this whole hidden. it on the ground <laughs> i'm trying to get my platforms up man i'm trying to keep up with y'all young motherfuckers i put it on both how about that i'm gonna have to get a uh uh internet um i'm gonna have to get an internet assistant somebody who can do this shit for me because i'm getting too old to have to carry all this shit because <clears throat> i need to be spreading this shit on all the little different ones yeah Honey pack. I don't know about that. We gonna see. I think I got a honey pack in my backpack right now. Wait till my uh massage stop. I'm gonna show y'all. But to the youngsters that don't know, when you go to Mexico, you can just go to the pharmacy right there and stack up on all that shit. They got Seattle, they got Viagra, they got all that shit. You just buy all that shit up and be good for a year. Shit, that's what I do. Every time I go to Mexico, Mexico, I just go in there, bitch, and stack up on Viagra, Cialis. I'll be, I'll be good through the year. I keep me, that be, and you can get the name brand or you can get the off brand. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's gonna work. He said, that's what my grandpa do. Facts. See? They don't know OG shit. All of those C-Miles Capsule, man, nigga not going in there like that with that shit. Yeah, I'll be with that shit. No, just take a, a C-Miles. Man, my body is gone, kid. I popped so many Viagra that C-Miles shit ain't gonna do shit for my shit. It ain't gonna send no electric shock. <laughs> That see shit ain't gonna send no type of electric shock to my shit, nigga. We been through Viagra, gas station pills, Cialis. You got me fucked up, kid. Go in there with some motherfucking C Miles talking about I'm ready. Man, I'm a be gummy wormed in a bitch talking about hell no. Nah. What? <laughs> oh shit. God damn. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> All right. That was my 15 minutes up. That was my 15 minutes up. <laughs> he told her, oh, my girlfriend, if all that stuff did. Superhead. That what it is. You get some superhead from somebody, you're gonna be good. They're gonna fix all that. They gonna take you from gummy worm 
to firm. <laughs> you get your super head, she gonna take you from gummy worm to firm. <laughs> yeah, that what you need, fellas. That's what I realized. I told y'all that Larry Elder was real. Uh, where the girls out there get it from gummy worm to firm? Where y'all at? Huh? Where the ones get it from gummy worm to firm? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey. I like that Megan Fox. Boy in the refinery. Yeah, that Viagra motherfucker. That's for the new time. Like, you just smashing a new chick. You're trying to show out. On the way home, it's looking good. you like, damn, man, we turned up. It's time. It's looking good. You know, she letting you get away with a lot of shit. Ah, oh, shit. You finna leave the club, you gotta pop that hoe right then. You gotta pop that hoe on the way home from that restaurant. You gotta pop that hoe on the way to the crib, fellas. And you get a, if you, like me, I, I be having them 100 milligram ones, right? So I bust them hoes in half. I don't need that hoe, 100. That bitch will have me sweating, right? So I bust that hoe in half on the way home from Steak 48. You know what I'm saying? If it's a if it's a short drive, you want to drink that hoe with a Red Bull, make that hoe hit your bloodstream fast. <laughs> and shit, you gonna be good. You gonna be good, man. Yeah, you gonna be good after that, kid. You gonna go in there feeling like he man. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what the uh, throwing motherfuckers around like it ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you win, fellas. Then they gonna be like, oh, I'm coming back. Yeah, boy, a bad motherfucker, they come back. Oh, baby, we ain't pop the pill today. We gotta go come and wear the fur. This time. We forgot to pop the pill. We gotta go gummy worm the firm this time. What that mouth do? <laughs> oh my god, bro. That shit is hilarious, man. But, you know, if if you got you a good one, they gonna look at it as a challenge and enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be like building Legos to them, I guess, you know what I'm saying? That's what I ran into, you know what I'm saying? A lot of girls be like, oh, okay, how are you doing something? Yeah, motherfucker, something. You know, what you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of them gonna wanna feel the challenge of, hey, watch this. So you just kick back, you know what I'm saying? Go from gummy worm to firm, you know what I'm talking about? That's how that go, kid. That's how that go. Oh man, they crazy. <laughs> Should you have to take a first Viagra the whole time? Not a hundred milligram. You do not want to do that. You don't want to. You will. If you the first time, you might not even want to do a fifty. If you like ran through like me, been in the streets a while, at fifty you might need that fifty with that high blood pressure. Yeah, you might need that fifty, kid. You know what I'm saying? Going there to be just you know like I ain't playing no games. Yeah. Yeah, that's that stunt time, you know, Friday night dinner, you did the fireworks and shit, talk big shit, you want to show out, that's what you got to do, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> but you just got to drink water, man. The answer to all that shit is drink water. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Just got to drink that water, man. That's the key to success. I'm scared of them addies, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm scared to do all that other shit. <clears throat> Nigga, I'm talking about RP kept the same. I ain't say the gas station feel. You know, I ain't go that crazy no more. I'll be chilling on that now. I got it down to a science, man. Yeah, I popped that motherfucker. I know how long I need, you know, like, I know if I'm, how long the trip gonna be if I need to take that hoe with the water or take that hoe with a Red Bull to make the hoe go faster. And then I know when that hoe kick in. When you feel that temperature in your head, you feel that temperature. And then you're like, okay, we good. That bitch in, we ready now. So what you were saying about that? You want to... <laughs> Man, listen, man. I'm going to give y'all too much game, man. I'm going to give y'all way more game than y'all daddy on here, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to give you way more game than your daddy on here, man. You know what I'm saying? Nose get stuffed in back. <laughs> oh, man. That's how that shit go, though, man. You know, it is what it is. It's real life, fellas. We got to have these conversations, man, because a lot of people don't know what to do or how to do it. You know what I'm saying? We want to educate the brothers uh, how to move. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep everybody on the right page. <laughs> yeah, man, but I got to start my life, man, matter of fact. So, hold on. Let me see if I'm back. So my dumb ass tried not to eat bad last night. And I fuck around and still tried to exercise. Like I say, I'm trying shit. So I tried to exercise my rights and order some Uber Eats. And I ordered a whole fucking five meals. I don't know how them hoes accidentally tricked me into that. Let me see what we got. <clears throat> That TV show, we shot that shit last year in March, man. That shit been out. It was on BET Plus first. It's just not getting on TV. But that shit was hella dope. I say that. Hella experience. Look. The fuck is this? Raw honey. Somebody gave me this shit. I'm scared of this shit, though, man. This shit be giving a nigga a headache. Some of them hoes will give you a headache. You got to watch that gas station pill shit. Some of them hoes will give you a headache, kid. Don't do it. Be careful on the ones you take. That's what I'm telling you. You need to get them Viagra, get them motherfucking Cialis. Them hoes ain't going to fuck you up. A lot of them hoes, you go to the gas station with it, them hoes going to give you that headache. You're going to be like, damn, man, what the fuck? Oh, I need to go buy my little soup for my uh, thing. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go to the gun store. Yeah. The crash be crazy. That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch it. That's why I tell you the Cialis and the Viagra is the only ones that don't fuck you up after mad. You know what I'm saying? Just take my fucking, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with more than 50. If I got a threesome, I might pop that whole motherfucker. If it's a threesome on the line, I might say, man, you know what? Or if it's some just random turn up shit outside or some shit, like, you know, fuck it. We finna pop this whole motherfucker. We ain't having no failures. It's going down. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Different shit for different times, man. Different shit for different times, man. <laughs> You ain't gonna play when you got two baddies. You like, hell no, nah, I'm finna make these motherfuckers. I'm finna uh, go on some motherfucking porno shit with this shit. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up in the thug coat, though? What else we missing? We talked about everything. I'm so high, I don't even need to smoke. <clears throat> I'm so high, I don't even need to smoke. 
Yeah, nigga, gone off a good ass dope. Oh, here we go. Posting no more, I just be on the news. What else do I need? This, I guess I need my ID, huh? See, the niggas don't even understand. Niggas don't even carry a wallet no more. Nigga, ID can be in his phone. The world has changed. Jackals are in trouble. They can't be messing with Next time. Taking my hair and jump and come hit. Sorry to hear that, bro. Uh, I definitely. Um, damn. Stop trying to scare me, though. What the fuck? I, how, he was doing a whole hundred. We should buy them. We might need to say fuck them and let them start his own new shit. I just walked home and got out. I just walked home and got all these cars. I got all these cars and I'm getting in this motherfucker. Oh fuck, I gotta go get my appointment. You know what, man? I'm gonna call y'all back. I can't do this shit. I gotta go shower and then go to the chiropractor. I'm gonna do some other shit. Yeah, I'm tripping. All right, I fuck with y'all later.